COVID-19 pandemic is forcing brick and mortar stores to take risks if they want to stay in business. Some owners are permanently ditching the storefronts and shifting entirely to online sales. New at six, Megan Schiller introduces us to one shop owner who said he's used to taking risks and is looking on the bright side. Jim Uring tells me it's all about putting things into perspective. And so it's fitting that he owns this custom framing shop here in Peters Township. Like so many business owners these days, Jim Urig needs to change the way he looks at things. There's some people have called me to order something similar to what they had before. But basically all my income has stopped since the beginning, middle of March. Since the governor's stay-at-home order, not a single customer walked through these doors. As a transplant recipient, you just look for other options. He first posted two signs, warning even the mailman, then finally made the tough call to shut down his shop and sell his frames online. I won't have any more utilities. I won't have computer costs. I won't have rent. You know, so I'll, my savings will go right to the bottom line. The risk of coming in contact with a sick person proved too great. His respect for this woman runs too deep. Her name is Judy Murphy. I got some good Irish parts in me. Her two lungs now keep him breathing, a gift he doesn't take lightly. Your donor is a, is gave up their life to be your be your safe and. Um, Gee, that's a, that's a pretty awesome responsibility. Fiercely optimistic, no matter what happens, he'll always keep her selfless gift in focus. I got a lot of medical issues, but I don't wake up and I think about my medical issues. I think about how I'm going to build this frame. <laughs> With the help of his loyal customers and his try anything once attitude, Jim tells me he's not afraid of his business failing. After all, he's no longer living just for himself, and he owes it to two people to try his best. Reporting in Peters Township tonight, Megan Schiller, KDK News.